All right, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the rear wheel bearing uh, replacement. Now, this is my first time doing this on this vehicle. Um, I believe it's just the bearing itself, so we got to press in, press out. Um, we'll go ahead and figure that out. Um, I haven't done it on this vehicle, so so this is a first time. So be patient with me, guys. But at least this video will help you guide you in this in this area. Um, this is a 2014 Nissan Versa. So if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and start this video right after the intro. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take off our wheel. It is gonna be a 21 millimeter. Oh, before I take off the wheel completely, just so you how you can hear the wheel bearing being bad, this one is really shot. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that sound. So it was like really bad. The wheel doesn't wobble. There's no wobble plate in that. It just growls a lot, especially when you're driving. All right, also make sure your emergency brake is off. I will show you right now how to jack this up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get to that. So right here we have our lower subframe. I jacked it up from right there. Be careful that you don't get the fuel pump itself or the fuel tank because this is the fuel tank. You're literally just going to lift up from this beam right there or you can lift from right here too as well. So just so you're aware. All right, so I'm going to get a hammer and hit this out. See if we broke that free. This, bam, this bad boy is stuck on there, so I'm gonna move the camera a little bit so I can hit it. Make sure you don't damage the wheel studs. If you need to, you can put your lug nuts back on. So if you damage anything, you just damage the wheel or the lug the lug nuts. All right, so um, in order to get our um, our drum off, as you can see, this is like one piece. So I'm gonna get a flat head screwdriver and then we are gonna tap. Um, you're not gonna tap down like this. You're gonna tap along with the, with the edges. Um, so we'll just tap at an angle. I have a camera in the way, so I can't get the best angle. So let's switch this over. I'll just come right here. So you can see, once you get that open, all of that should come right off. Now we have our little axle nut, or our just regular nut. All right, so we are going to need a 30 millimeter socket just to take this off. All right, so now that we got that off, put that over there, put that over there. And let's go ahead and pop this bad boy. This should slide right off, and then voila, there's our wheel bearing. This shouldn't look too hard. All right, so I hate these kind of snap ring pliers. Um, as you can see right there, I hate these guys. It's like one of the most tedious ones to take off. So let me go um, get some tools real quick and then we'll get right back to the video. All right, so I'm gonna see if I could try to take this out with some picks. I can't find my, my snap ring pliers. My life depended on it, but I think someone came up on it. So story of my life. All right, so all we're gonna do is just get our pick and then just kind of pick these right out. Now, let me get a flathead. And let me see if I can spin that right up on out. Now, make sure. Put that in. All right, so right there, I kind of spread it open a little bit. And then we'll just have that holding up in there. And then we'll just lift it. 
Let me see if I can lift it up like this. So yeah, we'll lift it up just like that. So literally a pick and a flathead screwdriver will get you up on this way. Not to put back in, we'll figure it out. Let's not worry about that now. All right, so we need to go ahead and get off the wheel bearing. Now let's see if we can tap this guy out. Go get my hammer. Let's just tap it out. What the heck? That's a wheel in there. Oh yeah. Well, it's coming out. Surely but slowly. Ah oh, yeah, different story. <laughs> We're in there. Just back up the quick. All right, so we are bottomed out. All right here. All right, so I need to get something. Let's see. What happens? Just... Gotta put this higher. So I'm gonna get some wood real quick. So I got another rotor that I had lying around, but you can actually get some wood and do that. It's almost out. Just a couple more wax and we're all set and done. There we have it. We are all said and done. Right, so I think we did a little boo-boo um, right here. Be careful with this this magnetic piece. I just found out this thing is like $85. So here we have a hairline crack right there. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with it. Shoot. I know I messed up big time on that. Just gotta tap it in probably. <laughs> I mean, you know, it happens once in a while. Get, it, it happens once in a while. I mean, it semi bulges. I mean, I think I should be fine. Um, if you're gonna tap this one out, just like how I did, um, and and be lazy and not get your your tool out, um, well, guess what? That's probably what's gonna happen. Um, this ring is eighty five dollars online. I don't know how much it is at the dealership, but let's just say. Um, for giggles, I'm gonna slap this back on and see if we can get away with that. Um, I'm on a really tight deadline. I have to finish this in within an hour. If not, then I'll just have my customer come back and I'll replace this. This is pretty, this will just, um, you can pop these guys off with a flathead and then it'll just slide right back on. So when you are gonna um, punch that out, I'm gonna get the tool and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna actually do it right. So, Put your wood right here around this. Um, probably maybe when I was hitting it on here, maybe it jumped up, cracked right there. I mean, I just don't know. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. Um, but make sure it's on the outer edge. I should have flipped it up on this side and just done it right here on this piece. Um, but I just wanted more control over it. All right, whatever. My failure is your success. Um, all I can do is be positive about it. Some of you might give me crap about it. It is what it is. You know, it happens once in a while. Um, I'm not going to sit here and cry. It comes out of my pocket. It is what it is. So at least you guys can get an understanding of, you know, an everyday life thing. So, all right, next step. Let me go ahead and get um, my other special tool for this special moment. So the tool that I have is the Master Wheel Bearing Hub and uh, bearing removal and installer kit now you don't really need this one all you need is like i think this like a wheel bearing removal tool um, you can get this at autozone a part number is 27342 um, this you're gonna have to leave a 400 hundred dollar deposit and they will refund your money back all right so there's two ways we can do this um, either we can use the old one to drive in our new um wheel bearing which would be pretty ideal or we can actually see if we can find the right tool. So that looks about it right there. So we can actually use this. This one's like hairline shorter. So as we're pressing this, you got to make sure that it's not like that and that it's like that. Um, this one that I'm using, it's um, Step Washer I as an in Indigo. 
and you're not going to press against this. If you press against this, you're going to damage the bearings. You need to press against the outer race. So this outer shell we got to press against. And then that's where all of this force is going to be. All right. All right, so right here, make sure our area is fully clean and so forth. And then we're gonna get some wheel bearing grease. Um, we'll get some right here. And we'll just coat this whole area of wheel bearing grease. So as we put in our wheel bearing, it'll, it'll go in nice and smooth so we don't have an issue. Now, if you wanted to coat the wheel bearing itself, you can. Um, doesn't hurt to have extra grease. All right, so we'll set that right there. We'll put that on the cap. All right, now let's um, um, start pressing in our stuff. We're gonna get a washer that can just go right here, just like that. Um, you can even flip it in like that. Ah, that's fine, we'll just leave it like that. All right, so let's go ahead and Get this bad boy in. Let me go ahead and get my sockets. You're gonna need a 15 16 or a 24, I believe. But hold on, let me go ahead and get everything all situated with sockets and stuff. So, got that situated. All right, so let's get this. And this other side right here, that's a 27 millimeter. Just so you guys are aware, gonna hold this down, snug it in. And then what we need to do, we need to go ahead and make sure everything's all centered. So right here, we got to make sure our lug nuts are not being hit. So our wheel studs. If not, you can put like some like a rag around here or something. And then I'm just gonna go ahead get an adjustable wrench. And we'll just pay attention. Um, which is why I was hitting it out. <coughs> but obviously, you knowing my luck, nothing ever works out right. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up our area just like that. Now, you need to make sure that you can see your, your lip. Once it bottoms out, you can... I don't know if you guys heard that when I was pressing it in. It made like a different sound when it bottomed out. So we're gonna get our snap ring. Um, I'm gonna clean this bad boy out too. It doesn't matter if you have grease on this. This is the, the grease is inside the bearing. So we're just gonna push this inside. Get your flathead screwdriver. And we're just gonna push. just like that and then once they clip in you can move it around just like that so make sure it's fully seated and just push it in and out and that's pretty much it all right so let's go ahead and slap on our wheel bearing I mean if you wanted to put like a little grease on the shaft itself you can I wouldn't recommend it but I mean just like a little thin coat if you wanted to um, you don't need to All right, cool. So we are good. Now we are gonna put on our bolt. Um, torque specs for this, I don't know. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to figure out torque specs for that. I'm gonna hit it with the impact gun. Some of you guys might give me crap for that, but yeah. All right. So sounding good, sounding fair. All right, we're gonna put on our little, now you're just gonna tap this in. We're not trying to damage it, just tap it. This is all set and forth. So let's go ahead and put our wheel on. Now if the wheel spins on too much, just go ahead and hit your emergency brake. And then when you tighten the wheels, you're pretty much going to go one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to go ahead and lower our vehicle. So far, so good. Um, no ABS light, so um, 
we are all said and done but yeah if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and then hit that subscribe button for more coming videos in the future and thanks for watching